Yo, what's up guys, and um, sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird, as you can tell I'm a bit sick. Um, I had a stupid ass friend and they got me sick as fuck, so it happens, yeah. So sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird. If it don't, cool. But uh, yeah, I'm just making a video to uh, ask you guys a question. Um, is the emo rap wave dead yet? Because, you know, I haven't really been seeing as many emo rappers nowadays, you know? I mean, granted, for I mean, granted, I, don't worry, I know they're still around, but you know, is the emo trend finally dying? Like, god damn, that shit is was so annoying, bro. Like, I swear to God, everybody and their mama was depressed, bro. Like, I don't know, like you know, you know, back in the day, maybe like five years ago, you know, for you to be he diagnosed as depressed, you know, which is a mental illness. You know, you have to see a doctor, you know, to be diagnosed for a mental illness. But, um, you know, apparently nowadays you can just diagnose yourself if you want. I, I guess that's how it works nowadays. So, I mean, I guess if, if you feel like you have depression, you have it, you know. You don't, you, don't, you don't need a doctor to tell you it. You know, if you feel like you have it, you have it. And, you know, that shit was always kind of weird to me. But, you know, I didn't care at first. But, um, you know, but when you see nowadays that everybody is depressed and they have quote unquote depression because I don't know I think people they always get it mixed up there's like a big difference between being depressed and like legit having depression you know what I'm saying you know being depressed that's that's literally normal like I'm pretty sure everybody feels depressed what at one point in their life you know it's 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 nothing rare it's not uncommon it's a natural emotion you know depression it comes and it goes but you know, when you, like, have depression, I mean, you know, pe people need to understand that there's a big difference. You know, when you have depression, that shit, like, legit won't leave. Like, you, one day you can just, you know, you go to sleep depressed, you wake up, you're still depressed, you go outside, you're depressed, like, literally everywhere you fucking go. It's like, it won't leave no matter how hard you try. And, you know, that shit is, like, terrible. I mean, granted, I don't know because I never really had depression, but, you know, I'm pretty sure we've all been depressed at one point of our lives, so I'm able to understand it to a certain extent, you know, I can't imagine feeling like that all the fucking time, that shit would seem like it fucking sucks bad, but, um, yeah, you know, cause, you know, think about it, bro, like, having depression is, like, a legit, like, serious fucking issue, bro, but, you know, when everybody claims to have it, you know, it kind of, for me personally, it kind of drags away the important, 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 the important, import, sorry, I'm sick, the importance of it so you know it's just like you know when someone can really have it you know i really just won't really care because you know it's just everybody fucking has it. it's just like bro I, I hope you guys understand what i'm saying bro it's just like when everybody fucking has it it's just like okay well go talk to that other motherfucker right there see if he can help you with your depression everyone has it nowadays you know shit man who fucking knows you know your mama might have it at this point you know everyone fucking has it but um yeah uh, it's gonna be kind of a short video today. I'm just wondering, is is the way finally dead? Because you know, I don't see too many depressed people on my t on my timeline as much as I used to. You know, I like, back in the day I used to see it all the time. But who knows? Maybe maybe they all uh, found a cure for it, so you know it, it's gone. Or for some reason they threw on a fucking song and it like cured the depression. Can you imagine that? Like, imagine you going to a doctor and a doctor says, "Hey, I have the perfect cure." Be depression. Here, listen to the song. It, it'll go away. Imagine if depression literally worked like that. I don't. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure that music can legit help you with your depression. But um, I hate to break it to you. If you legit had quote unquote depression, but for some reason you threw on one song and it like completely healed, healed it, like it completely went away. Maybe you didn't have it in the first place, you know. Strong cold fat. I mean, cold strong cold fat, you know. You know, don't get me wrong, like, I know music, it can, it can truly help. And while, you know, making music can probably cure your depression, but I don't, I, I just personally don't see how, like, throwing one song can just cure a fucking me mental illness. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it just seems a bit weird to me, you know? Maybe it's possible, but it don't really sound possible to me, you know? If you really, really, quote unquote, have it, you know? But, um, you know, I guess everyone's case is different, you know? You don't need a doctor that went to school for eight to ten years to tell you, you know, you could do it on your own, you know, especially when you're like 12 or 14, but, um, 
Yeah, that's what I want to talk about. You know, is their fucking emo wave finally dead yet? I hope so. To be honest, this shit's annoying as fuck. And I'm not an emo rapper. I know. I, I, I keep saying that a lot because, like, you know, it's kind of off topic. But you know, one thing I've noticed is like a lot of my sad music is the shit that fucking um, gets popular. But it's not wrong. You know, if, it's, if it gets popular, it gets popular. But I don't want people to think, hey, man, this guy he makes some of the best sad music out here. He's the next emo rapper. I'm like, I'm not with all that, bro. I just make music. Like, if it's a sad beat, I make a sad song. Um, I don't know if this is quote-unquote fake, but, you know, I don't have to be in a sad mood to make a sad song, you know? That's, it seems like, I don't know, it seems like you're setting yourself up for failure. I mean, it, j it, j it just seems weird to me, you know? Imagine having to be depressed to make a hit song, you know? So it's either you are depressed, and you're a hit maker, and you're going to be rich, or you're happy, and your music flops, and you're going to be shit. That just fakes, you know? I don't know. Hey man, if what I'm doing is fake, then I'm a good, I'm, I'm an amazing fake rapper, you know. Cause don't get me wrong, I can read like don't I don't have to be song I don't have song I don't have to I don't have to be sad to make a sad song. I can recollect on you know memories of me being sad to write write on a piece of paper, you know. Just like right now, I'm not currently in love with somebody, but you know if I want to write a love song about me like really liking somebody, I can recollect on some memories of me really liking somebody and just write it down on a piece of paper. It's seriously not that hard, but you know I guess it sounds cool when you say hey man. I was so depressed when I wrote this. I was fucking in tears. And people eat that shit up, you know? But, uh, you know, I, I ain't really good at all that. I, I don't really care about being super deep and, well, super fake, super fake deep about it, you know? I'm just going to be honest with you guys. You know? I'm going to write whatever sounds best with the beat. You know, if it's a happy song and I'm feeling like shit, I'm going to write a happy song, bro. And I don't, I, don't have to, I don't have to be in a happy mood to write a happy, a happy song, you know what I'm saying? If I'm in a happy mood and it's a sad song, I'm going to write a sad song. Even though I'm happy as shit. That's just how it works with me, bro. You give me you give me something to work with and I'm going to work with it, you know? That's how, that's how I am. But yeah, that was kind of off topic, but um, that's all I want to talk about. Um, hope you guys have a nice day. Um, follow me on Spotify. That's where my cloud's at. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, well, follow me on everything, but, you know, mainly Spotify. SoundCloud's cool, too. My SoundCloud's been popping recently. I don't know why. I mean, it's cool, but, you know, I'd rather get that Spotify money. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get me out the hood. Get me out the hood. Get me out the hood. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. I might have gone inside, play with my dog. Play some League. Finish Life is Strange 2. Life is Strange 2 was, uh, well, not Life is Strange. I didn't finish it. I finished Episode 3. I love Episode 3. Um... Yeah, you know, hopefully one day I get a big enough fan base and I can play games with some of you guys. Waiting for that day. Oh, look at that fucking owl that my mom bought. It's just it's super creepy at night, but it's cool. It's cool right now. At night, it's it, it, it's freaky as fuck. But yeah, I'm getting off topic. Uh, you guys take it easy. Peace. Love you guys.